Congratulations, you're the proud new owner and caretaker of a grade one seedling. Alberta grade ones have been receiving seedlings for over 60 years. Your parents and even grandparents may also have taken home a seedling from school when they were grade ones. Many of those trees are still standing tall and strong, providing shade, homes for wildlife and fresh air. Your seedling will be either a lodgepole pine or a white spruce tree. Remove a needle. If it's short and has four sides when you roll it between your fingertips, then it's a spruce. The lodgepole pine is Alberta's provincial tree. It has helped to build our province, starting with Indigenous peoples using it for teepee poles. Then settlers used it for log cabins, railway ties and fences. Today we still use it for our homes in many ways. The lodgepole pine is a very tall and narrow tree. White spruce trees are also very tall and sturdy trees. Farmers like to plant a lot of these species to block the wind from damaging their fields. They also make good Christmas trees and provide plenty of shade for homes. Both of these trees are commonly and naturally found throughout Alberta. So where should you plant yours? Because these trees will grow to be very big, you need a lot of space. It should be at least 10 meters away from any buildings or other structures. Your white spruce could end up being seven meters across, which is about the length of a full-size pickup truck. These trees can grow very tall, so be careful not to plant it under any power lines. Lodgepole pines and white spruce are tough trees, but they enjoy sunny locations that aren't too wet. The good news is these trees are pretty easy to grow, but it's best to plant your seedling as soon as possible. If you're not able to plant for a couple of days, keep the soil around the roots moist and store your seedling where it is cool and shady. Plant it when conditions outside are favorable. A good indication is to see what the other plants are doing in your neighborhood. If buds are swelling or new leaves are sprouting, then it's a good time to plant your seedling. But no matter how well you care for it, it may not survive. Some don't. Once you're ready to plant, dig a hole a couple of centimeters deeper and wider than the soil plug. There's no need to remove the soil around the roots. Place your seedling in the hole as straight as possible so that the top of the soil plug is about one to two centimeters below ground level. Replace the soil you dug out of the hole. Make sure there's good contact between the soil you're putting back in the hole and your seedling's roots. If you want to be like a real tree planter, you can even gently step down on the soil around your seedling to lightly pack it down. Slowly give it just enough water to wet the soil, but not to create a puddle. Try to come back for a little while to remove weeds and keep the soil from drying out if you can. Otherwise, Mother Nature should take pretty good care of this strong little seedling. If you don't have a good place in your yard to plant your seedling, then a spot outside of your town or city is probably a good place to put your tree. You may be able to find a natural area in your community also known as an urban forest. You can contact your municipality for direction on where you could plant your seedling. You can also plant it in a pot to grow outside for the spring and summer. A deep 10-inch diameter container or larger filled with potting soil will do. You need to keep an eye on your potted seedling as it will dry out faster. A little plant fertilizer will help too. Then in the fall, after the seedling has stopped growing for the season, around late September, you can transplant it. Remove your seedling and soil from the pot and place in a slightly wider and deeper hole in the ground, ensuring there is good contact. Give your transplanted seedling some water and it should be happy for the winter. Once your seedling is planted, you'll be able to watch it grow with your family for many years. Growth will be slow at first, but expect your little tree to become at least 5 meters tall in 15 to 20 years. You could take pictures with it every year to document its growth and yours. Trees are long-lived, so you may even be able to bring your children and grandchildren to see it. By planting your seedling, not only are you contributing to cleaner air and a healthier ecosystem, but joining a fine Alberta tradition.